Hello everyone. So, um, I have my New York Jets shirt on and then friendship bracelet, if you will. That says the Packers and of course they played each other today. And Jason's team won, my team lost. Yay for him, boo for me. But it was a fun game to watch and that's not really why I'm here. Just thought I'd share that with you before I got into this. So, um, as you guys know, I'm kind of like doing this college business. And I recently watched a video from, um, Makeup Forever 717, um, on YouTube because Wendy is her name. She just... Well, not just, so probably sometime in August. I um, went away to college, and so prior to that, she's been doing all these college type videos, and they've been, I don't know, occasionally like popping up as like, you have a new subscription thingy on YouTube. So her latest video was like the top 10 tips and advice that she personally had going through the college experience. And I thought it was a really good video, and I want to rewatch it and write down some of her tips and tricks that she has because I think that they may come in handy for me. Who knows? But so far, um, what I think I've shared with you and showed you is kind of, um, I don't know what paper is, but kind of a list of schools that I'm looking into, um, if you give me a second, I'll find it. I know I have most of them on my phone, but I did add two more. So, um, I'll go see if I can find that. If not, I'll just read from my phone. Yeah. Okay, so first off, um, in my last video, I talked in great length about Beacon College, which is in Leesburg, Florida. And, um... I showed you like what I was interested in studying there and a little a bit about the school and as I said you could always find boatloads of more information online but what I didn't get to share with you because it was down here is the letter they sent me. So first I'd like to share that letter with y'all. So it says Dear Mallory, thank you for your interest in Beacon College. As your admissions counselor, I have enclosed several items for you to review and look forward to speaking with you about your aspirations and expectations regarding college. Your enrollment represents far more than academic decision or financial advisement. Vegan College is a leader in academic support services for students with learn language based learning uh, disabilities and ADHD. Our facility, faculty, facility, and staff are dedicated to providing a supportive environment that fosters your success. Also, I am pleased to introduce, and I talked about this in the last video, um, the Beacon College $1,000 Professor Education, oh, Educator Referral Scholarship. So it says a new scholarship for students entering college in the fall of 2015, whether that's me or not, I don't know whether this thing really has a deadline, who knows. Um, in order to receive the scholarship, take the enclosed form to an educator you know, such as a dean, academic advisor, college counselor, oh, yeah, guidance counselor, teacher, professor, learning specialist, educational consultant, etc and ask them to complete the form and return it direct mail or electronically submit to Beacon College Administration's office forms need to be submitted no later than May 1st of 2015. Um, I'm available to speak with you and address any of your questions or concerns you may have via phone or email. If you haven't already, I encourage you to visit um, our website at beaconcollege.edu. I um, look forward to hearing from you soon. Sincerely, Andrew Marvin. He is an admin oh, admissions counselor and um, 
alumni class of 2010. So that is this letter, and um, clearly you can like them on Facebook and all that fun stuff too. I think most schools these days you can. So that was like number one on my list. Um, I'll jump to number three because guess what? I got a letter from them in the mail as well. And this is from Ave Maria University. Um, I might have talked about this a little bit. It's in actually in Ave Maria, Florida. I believe the guy that created Domino's or someone in the Domino's industry, like the pizza franchise, um, wanted to create this like Catholic community and this Catholic university. So today, well actually, well, I mean, I didn't get the mail Saturday and it's Sunday, so like today's mail is technically yesterday's mail, but the beauty about being busy on Saturday is you get to enjoy getting mail on a Sunday. Side note, I love getting mail. Okay, so moving right along. Dear Mallory, thank you for your interest in Ave Maria University. As Director of Admissions, it is my pleasure to share with you a brief overview of our university. Ave Maria is a Catholic university. I should know this. Um, uh, the Catholic University situated, situated on, uh, um, in beautiful south southwest Florida. Our average class size is 17 students. I believe it was Beacon. It was like what 15 or less. So, um, students. And the faculty ratio is 50, oh, 15 to 1, and our 94% of our full-time faculty have earned a PhD or have, or, or a terminal degree, never heard of that. Our professors are published authors and international lecturers who love teaching. Our students come from 46 states and 18 countries, and our athletic team com teams compete in the A N A I A. Do you know what that means? Because I don't. In addition to the Ave Maria Inter, um, what the hell? I think I had this word before. Inter. Collegiate, 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 I whatever. Um, teams, we have more than 50 student clubs and organizations. If you have not yet visited our beautiful campus, we encourage you to come see for yourself why so many people are talking about our excellent facility and programs. I think that's the episode too. Please call our enrollment and marketing coordinator, Jennifer Speakman. Set phone number or email a set email address to arrange your individual visit. In the meantime, a great way to learn about Ave Maria is by visiting our YouTube channel, which I've only just seen a little bit of it. Um, so youtube.com slash Ave Maria University FL or, and I haven't done this yet, but would like to, um, by taking a virtual tour of our campus at tinyurl.com slash m-a-v, no, m-a-q virtual tour. Um, lastly, if you would like to apply for admissions to Ave Maria University, you can do so for free. For free by visiting AveMaria.edu, and where you can also learn more about the school. So please call if you have any questions about the application process. We look forward to hearing from you. So right here is that tinyurlcom slash a n v u o n a q virtual tour. Why wow, does everything have to be capitalized? It confused me. Maybe, 
one of these two college most likely beacon can help me read their letter yeah I don't do so great with spelling grammar and reading fancy words I just wanted to update everyone because I'm gonna keep you updated so got this letter so Ave Maria University like I said it's in Ave Maria Florida which I believe is like 40-ish minutes from Naples. So next time I'm down there, we should, I should, I'll be meeting me and my parents, or at least my mom should go and check it all out. But here is mostly typed in the last two that I found written. Just thought I'd share it real quick with you, um, what I've looked into, or at a you know, I Google searched and at a glance wrote down a whole slew of things and my process is to is to call all of these schools, ask them a set of questions, maybe come up with those ahead of time, see if anything's even worth visiting, but maybe before that go on their website and thoroughly check out their website or like I know you can go on YouTube and some of these schools have like videos about the college or a little like clip of oh this is the dorm or this is the cafeteria like kind of thing not really like a full blown on tour um just to kind of see what's what and then do process of elimination and hopefully narrow down to a few and then those few I will go and actually visit and feel it out although I've done that before with Beacon four years ago like I mentioned but a lot has changed so what we're looking at here number one is Beacon College in Leesburg Florida then there's the college living experience they have multiple campuses but I would be looking at the one in Fort Lauderdale my mom's like oh did you know there's one in Maryland I'm like no cuz I'm um, gonna be in Baltimore next oh Jesus next weekend but I probably wouldn't have time to like visit a school so we're just gonna um because we i mean i go to florida like all the time so we'll just check out the fort myers campus because that's the one that interests me but um yeah college living experience if you just go like um if you're curious about it and you just want to google it look on their website you can see a list of their different campuses and locations um and then again, this is the type of thing, uh, depending on where, what location, if you will, you go to, to there's then link to certain colleges. So it's like, you know what I'm saying, there's different schools for different things. So on uh, number three, Ave Maria and Ave Maria. Number four is Gulf Coast, Florida and Fort Myers. So um, how I learned about Ave Maria was when I went to when I went to go Licky Lou at the what was it Florida Southwestern I don't know one of the little well there's actually like a big school but then it was like their community college size of it it was only like what 30 minutes from Naples from my condo no it's in it's in Collier County hello not far from me. Um, and I spoke with an admit, what the hell, the admissions advisor, and she's like, oh, there's Ave Maria, and then there's Gulf Coast, Florida, and Fort Myers, which I looked into a little, little, little bit four years ago, but I think I threw out the info that I had on it. <laughs> so, um, I just, because I asked about, like, do you have services for LD students? Um, so then... Um, number five here. I don't really know if these go in any specific order, but whatever. I'll just tell you. Number five is A New Directions in Deerfield Beach, Florida. And that's kind of like, um, more of a life skills preparation. Prepare you for college. You probably maybe attend like a community college or something and learn how to live on your own and be independent and all that stuff and have like that extra bonus support um that one like this person would need so um look into that and then Lynn University in Boca Raton Florida they came on my list all these schools are 
supposedly asked to be a friendly and have some sort of support system in place. Then there's um, a University of Central Florida, Orlando. That came on my list. My mom's not 100% sure about it, but I'm like, we won't know till we call and ask. And then number, number eight, Florida Atlantic probably college or university, <laughs> but this is Florida Atlantic, and I have that down in Boca Raton, but I think that is somewhere else, not too far from Lynn. University is near Boca, but I don't think it's in Boca Raton. Then there's Nova Southwestern University. That one's in Boca, and they have um, this mailman, Sage, I don't know, S. I'm sorry, S, what the hell, MSC for human development, that's like their specialized thingy. What I, I look kind of interesting about this Nova Southwestern University, it's kind of like a tech school, but kind of not. It's, um, there's specific majors that you go into, and there's like a lot of hands-on learning and going out and experiencing things like in the real world, not just like sitting in a classroom. Then I have number 10, University of West Florida. That's in Pensacola. And I believe Pensacola is like way west. Like it's actually in its like central time zone, like being an hour behind me. So let's see, it's like, what is that? So if it's like 11.40 here, it would be like 10.40 there, you know what I mean? Um, then number 11, Georgian Court, and that is in New Jersey. It's only like 20, 30 minutes from Jenkinson's from the boardwalk, so it's down by the shore. And that, and like Salve Regina, which is up in Newport, Rhode Island, they were like the first two schools that I kind of fell in love with. Georgian Court is an all-female population, although I do think, like, for night classes, you might get, like, some men in there, but it's mostly, majority of the students are just girls, and I don't know what it is about college, Catholic college campuses and Catholic schools, I'm just, like, drawn to them, I don't know, but, um, then there's Richard Stockton College in New Jersey, which also is like South Jersey somewhere. Then there is Mitchell College in New London, Connecticut, which is supposed to be really good as well. There's Sacred Heart University of Connecticut. Um, there is St. Joseph's, or number 15, St. Joseph's University in Philly. Number 16, Marshall University in West Virginia. Number 17, a landmark college in Vermont, which I've been given an invitation to go visit. But it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, but I still want to get a feel for it. And then, um, a University of South Florida in Tampa. They have like this learning academics thing. Um, and then Southwestern University, that's in Land, or, or sorry, Lakeland, which is kind of near Orlando. Um, they have a transition program. And then I believe the University of Connecticut itself has programs. So... Anyway, the only way to know for sure, like I was saying, is to call, get more information online, and then go and check it all out. So, so that, my dear folks, is what I'm in the process of doing, and hopefully more information and such will be coming in, or maybe throughout the week if I'm not too crazy busy, which like seems to be my life now. Um, I will have time to call and ask and inquire for info to be sent to me or just ask my questions and I'll take a little notes and things. So if you're interested um, about more 
of these schools. Um, you can look online for yourself or hopefully you enjoy me sharing you this like journey that I'm going on in my life right now. Um, so I just want to say thanks so much for being here. And if you like this and you want to stick around for more fun, because trust me, a lot of fun does happen on this channel. Um, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. So as always, again, thanks for being here. Until next time, keep it quirky.